What's up, my amazing, beautiful, talented, wonderful people? How y'all doing today? How ah. are you? You know what? What you're not going to do? I put my sunglasses seat in my, I <laughs> my sunglasses cup right here. Y'all, I'm sorry. That's that's my intro. Foolishness. That's my intro. What y'all want? I don't know, and I don't care. Say hello to my beautiful people since you want to be seen and heard so bad. Say hello to them. I keep getting my ice cup. No, my sunglasses you cut mixed up. Are you sitting on my Your phone? phone is right there. I have two phones. One for the plug and one for the uh, What? I don't know what that means. I didn't know if I wanted to say the H word or the S. Uh, don't play with me. Anyways, you guys, I am so happy to be back with you guys. Today is, today is Friday. Look, doing it again. Today is Friday. Today is Friday, and it's about four. Okay, your girl worked today, but your girl is about to focus on her YouTube. Okay, it's time to work. All right, y'all. But so it's Friday, and it's raining outside. I walked about five, almost six thousand steps today. Y'all know we back at it. I gotta get this weight back off. Lost seventy, gained back about twenty twenty five. Yes, I'm going to lose it again. So I know some of y'all in there like <laughs> you can't. Talk. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I enjoy every minute of it, okay? So, if you got a problem with it, and if you got a problem with it, do something. Fight me. You I didn't think so. Fight, you can't fight. Who can't fight? You. Who can't fight? Mom. Who can't fight? You can't fight. Who can't fight? Who can't fight? You. Who? You. Who? On my stomach. What y'all doing? Y'all ever be in y'all um kids' rooms, and you just be trying to be around them because you love them so much? Any of y'all going through that right now? You just love me? Hell yeah, I love you, girl. My open. Can you open this? No. Open it yourself. I can't. I'm going to break this one. Okay, so let me tell you guys what I was, because I was going to make a video on goals, but I can do it with my, um, with my vlogs. I'm going to show you guys what... Or how, I should say, how um, you this is successfully complete your goals. Let's listen to it. Do it again. I was trying to do it while you was talking. Mm -mm, that don't make me or my beautiful people mad. Because we, look, we like mud bombs. Shut up, so long. They're not saying that. Where am I okay, let me show you guys the, the first step goal? to the first step to completing your goals. All right. Self-care agenda... Notice these are salams. Journals, agendas, and planners are the first step to completing your goals, you guys. Well, I wouldn't even say that's the first thing. Let, let me be real. Hold tight. This is important. You could say this is the first thing, but hold on. I'm going to tell you the real, real first thing. The real first thing to completing your goals. Okay, before I tell you that, let me let you know I complete most of my goals. Last year, I set tons of goals. And I completed most of it. Now you can see the house coat all behind. Let me turn around. Salon room is annoying. But, um, and excuse my hair. That was one goal I should have completed before 20, 20 left. And I didn't. Yes, I should have got my hair done. But anyways, didn't know what to ask you. But, um, y'all already know. Y'all was with me last year. Y'all saw the goals I made. I set out to grow my channel i succeeded in that i succeeded in getting monetized i i got i lost my weight i published a book and um i ate healthy the majority of the year so i did succeed in those goals but the first thing i did i believed in myself and um i actually consulted with god i'm a christian i pray um i pray i asked god to help me and give me the strength to do it i did it um, second thing to affirm it, that's when you write it down, you speak it over your life, you speak it and you believe it. And that is what I did as well. I believed I could do it and I did it. Writing it down, saying my affirmation, saying my I am's, I am amazing, I am talented, I'm smart, I am I'm successful, I am beautiful. Those things, I speak those things every day. Those things help you with goals. If you're a guy and you're an athlete, you might want to say something like, I am the fastest runner on my football team. I'm the best basketball player on earth. Nobody works as hard as me. You have to affirm those things um, by you saying. Want a boyfriend, like I said, I'm gonna get a boyfriend this year. 
Y'all hear what she said? What? She said, if you want a boyfriend, say, I want a boyfriend this year. Yes, I guess that's true. If you want a boyfriend or a girlfriend, um, and <laughs> if that's a goal of yours, you're going to have to be open to getting a boyfriend or girlfriend. You're going to have to first get the right boyfriend or girlfriend. Don't just go for anybody. Oh, no, you won't talk about me, baby. I'm I'm good in that department. I'm, mm -mm. I'm just playing, Ma. You just, you sure are. Mm -mm. I'm not saying that, y'all. That would not be an affirmation I say. But if, if she want to hear me say one, I'm going to say, never mind. Never mind. That's putting, mm -mm, never, nope, nope, never mind. Next and scene. All right, guys. So I'm done with um <laughs> being in Salam's room. I'm in my own room. And it's a hot mess, so I have to get it together. You know how they be doing the laps, time lapse in the videos? I can't even take this house cut off. But how they be doing the time lapse in those videos, I want to learn how to do that. Um, I want to show y'all my room. It is a hot mess, but y'all, it's bad. Like, I still have a, let me show y'all. I still have a bag over there. Um, that's where I hide my Christmas gifts in my closet. I need to clean this area. My Christmas tree is still up in my room. I have blankets over there in that corner. Um, my bed is not made um, today. Look at my TV. Look at that on my TV. You can't even see the TV. It's so much stuff over there. Christmas bags and things in that section. I am officially tripping. That That's it. That That's just it. That is just it. It's just it. That's just it. So I'm about to start cleaning my room. I'm going to start washing some clothes, just handling some business. Um, normally, people try to do things like this before the first of the year starts. But remember, y'all remember what I was doing the first of the year. But um, I'm going to continue to try to get the, keep the videos coming every other day. That is my goal for 2021. Every other day. Whoa. Whoa. I almost dropped you. Um, but that's my goal. Every other day to get a video out. I'm um, going to be focusing on vlogs, um, cooking, cooking healthy, um, working out, exercising, family time, things of that nature, introducing you to my friends, um, which you already know my, most of my friends. I don't see them that much, you know, we quarantine and still, or supposed to be, but just like that. But, so we're going to keep it um, exciting and we are going to get this room clean because this don't make no sense. This don't make no sense. So I'm about to clean up and get this room done so this is a goal that i will accomplish before today ends okay room gotta be clean and after it's clean i'll show you and matter of fact i'll show you a little bit while i'm cleaning can y'all see me okay so i don't know if that light yeah that light is let me turn that light off hold on because i think yeah okay so let me show y'all something the other day, it's kind of dark in here. Okay, that's perfect. Phone, stop doing that weird stuff. Why does it keep doing that? Do y'all see how it's going in and out and in and out? Let me know if y'all can see that. Um, anyways, so the other day, I, Monroe called me and we went to get some coffee um, from this place called, I think it's Rude Awakening, um, downtown Fayetteville. And we stepped there for a minute. Um, oh, please. We stepped there for a minute to, um, you know, and sometimes when like you have like, you're, you got something on your mind and you're trying to figure out things and God like sends you like little signs. That's what I was noticing because, um, I went to the place for her. We got the coffee. It was fine. We had a good time and all this real quick, little quick, um, stop. And all of a sudden, she was reading something, and she was like, hey, isn't this the lady you told me about? This is Jessica, you guys. Jessica was the lady that, um, edit, who the lady who edited my first book, okay? She's really sweet, and she's from North Carolina, from um, a town called Sanford. And she literally, now I knew this, but for it to be there, it was just something else. She um, has a movie that she starred in, she directed, and she wrote. And it will be um, premiering in our movie theater. And it was just so exciting. And it was just like confirmation because that day I was like not having the best day. And when I saw that and I was just talking about her 
to them. And it just was like God was showing me, you know, through her blessing that um, don't give up. It's not too late. And I personally know her. Um, she's a really sweet lady. And I've congratulated her. And I've shared her success on my um, social media. So it was just nice to see. So when the movie comes out, it's called L Rose. Y'all go see it, okay? I don't know why it keeps getting dark like that. But go check out L Rose at Market Fair Movie Theater. That's Jessica. Oh, let me do her right. I'm sorry. Sorry, Jessica. There she is. Can y'all see? Yep. And one of the um the the guy that's playing opposite her, like the guy, he is actually a substitute teacher. He's an actor, of course, but he also um subs. Um, he's I worked with him before, so that is so cool. It's like people around me, you know, isn't that cool? Let me say something when God be doing stuff for people that you have been around or that you know, don't be jealous, be grateful because you in the midst, you in the midst, baby. Let's get better cleaning this room so we can be great at that too. Okay, just want to share, just want to share. I'm gonna be sharing stuff with y'all all year. Don't look at my dirty mess. And guys, I'm gonna be talking about um goals a lot. A lot. I do not like this angle. I dropped something. I do not like this angle because I'm heavy up here. So I look bigger from this like little short angle. Yes, we know that I gained some weight, but I have not gained all my weight. So stop trying to play me camera. Anyways, so I'm going to be talking about goals literally all year. Um, Just trying to, you know, motivate you guys to keep them up and continue i got a funny story for you so a friend of mine says someone um who normally goes to the gym is irritated with all the people who made their goals for the year and their new year's resolution like oh my goodness i'd be glad when february comes so they'll you know it'd be we'll be able to work out and you know use our equipment and whatnot and i was like those people have the right to try I don't wish they will fail on their um on their weight loss journeys. You know what I'm saying? Don't wish that they'll fail on their their journey because you don't want to wait patiently to get the next machine. They have a right. They're just like you. They're paying for their time in the gym just like you. So don't be like that. Be happy that more people are getting healthy, more people are getting fit, and more people are wanting to work out. That's one thing I can't stand is for a negative person. Or a person who wants to only be the cute one, wants to only be the fit one, wants to only be the successful one. Don't do that. It's room for all of us to look good, feel good. If you have to wait a few minutes to get on that machine, be patient. They want to live a long life too. They want to be blessed too. They want their organs working too. Don't be like that. That's so ugly. Hey, Ethan, what you doing? What? What? Who? What you saying? What you doing? I'm watching something. You're being recorded right now. Are you decent? Huh? Are you decent? You're being recorded right now. What do you mean am I decent? You dressed? You can see me in your camera. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all was just messing with my boy. Just messing with him. Just messing with him. Let's go see what this girl doing while I take a break. Look, a five second break. What are you doing? Editing. Editing, uh. You just came here 10 minutes ago. That was not 10 minutes ago. Yes, you did. It was not 10 minutes ago. You you give me, you ask me the same questions like Warren. Oh. You need to get up and clean this room. Well, I'm working right now. I'm not worried about this room right now. It's my room. If I want it to be dirty, it's going to be dirty. Mm -hmm. Who you talking to? You trying to get slapped in front of the beautiful why people? I uh huh. You you trying to get thing. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, that that crazy kicked in when I looked to the right. I was, I was like, you okay. Was gonna say oh yeah. You know I'm gonna say something. Don't get slapped in front of the beautiful people. It will and can happen. It can. You can't get slapped in front of the beautiful people. Oh, I know. I know. That's right. You got that right. You sure can. Tell the people bye. Tell my beautiful people bye. I'm not playing with you. All right, so guys, my wonderful Christmas sweaters that I use for Vlogmas, I have decided that next Vlogmas, I'm going to have Christmas wear on every single day for every vlog. 
Um, I didn't do that this year, but I try to do it as much as possible. Here are some things. Um, these are some socks that I did not use. I'm going to save these for next year. I'm going to put them on the top of my closet with those sweaters. And here are two aprons that I will use for next year as well. And let me show you something. So these earrings were supposed to be my Christmas Day earrings. And that didn't happen. So hopefully we can save those babies for the first day of Vlogmas 2021. So I'm going to put this. I made a nice space on the top of my closet for those sweaters and that apron. Okay. That's where that stuff is going. All right. Okay. Mission cleaning room. Is it accomplished? Not yet, but soon it will be done. All right, guys. So tonight it's Friday. Well, it's been Friday all day, <laughs> but it's Friday. It's about seven o'clock and I am picking up the family's food. So I know, I know I've been eating healthy and I know, I don't know if I told you guys, but the two days I ate really, really healthy, I lost like five pounds. I was super excited about that. Um, but it's been hard for me this time. I'm not sure why. And I know I told y'all that before. Let me take these glasses off so y'all can see my face. But um, it's been hard this time. But I'm going to get it together. Um, I am eating some chicken and some um, steak. This is where I'm located. Let me show y'all. Can y'all see? It's raining. That is me. I, is it? I wonder, is my phone... Oh, that's just the rain. Sorry, guys. Yeah, my camera wasn't that dirty. It's raining, and the windows are all watery. So, pretty grandma, Ethan, Salam, and myself got us some um, teriyaki or hibachi chicken and steak and rice and zucchini and onions and mushrooms. Um, it's not that bad. I can't even act like it's going to be that horrible. Um... But this is what I'm eating for dinner, okay? So, I came to get it before my mom got off work. She's joining us, as we love her to do. And um, when I was leaving out, she was coming in, and I was like, Bye, Mom! Because pretty grandma would be like, Let me ride with you. No, pretty grandma, you're not about to slow me up. Nope, nope, nope. Go on there. I'm going that way. You go that way. I let my mom. I'm teasing. But, um... So, yeah, guys, I'm just about to go in here as soon as that. They said I had to wait about 15 minutes. Y'all, it took them forever to answer the phone. I called them maybe 10 times, and it kept going from busy to them not answering to busy to them not answering. So, all of a sudden, I was like, I'm going to keep calling. So, I kept calling, and right when I pulled in is when my order went in. So, I had to sit in the car for 15 minutes. So, I just wanted to, I just thought about talking to my beautiful, amazing, talented people. I just want to say hello to you all. And I will show you my food because I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to show you my food. I'm going to show you what I'm going to eat tonight. I am going to, don't lose faith in me. I am going to get the 20, 22, 23, whatever I gained back pounds off. It's got me real chunky. Like my arms, like everything is like, girl, these, tw yeah, I said girl. <laughs> Y'all, this little weight that I gain looks like a lot on me. Like, to me, it does. Um, So, yeah, we got to get it off. But I just wanted to speak to you real quick. It's been a little almost two minutes, so I'm not about to hold you long. I love you, and I will talk back with you shortly when I show you my food. Maybe I'll take you inside with me and let you see what's going on in there, why they can't answer the phone. Y'all better be packed. No, no, don't be packed. COVID, don't be packed. I got my mask, though. But don't be pat. I forgot to show y'all my food. I'm sorry. And I forgot to show you the inside of the place. Sorry. How was your food, Slum? Good. <laughs>